guys will really be out here on these dating apps acting like they're interested in you asking you all the questions asking you for more pictures and maybe a video of what you look like today and you take the time to respond you know trying to get to know the person before y'all go out on a date all the things then they just don't respond out of nowhere just no reply he must have thought you was busted if you sent him if he was like yo send me a picture real quick of what you look like you sent him a picture or a video whatever you said and he looked upon that and was like oh my god this woman looked like frog legs she he immediately just ghosted you oof that's a that's a bad hit dude that's terrible dude you just basically told me your shit is musty which is fine by the way like not everybody's gonna be everybody's type he maybe just saw you and thought he probably want that authentication sometimes when you're on dating apps there's a lot of times where you look upon somebody's profile uh their pictures and you go this is not odd this is a really cannot be a normal person right like it's it's a one of two things it's usually just face pictures or really filtered pictures if that makes any sense so if you're seeing that you're gonna have to probably authenticate it and it seems like he went for the authentication and before he met up with you because he probably didn't want to spend the time or the effort or the finances in order to take you out just to realize the same thing he could have realized over the phone and that's tough that's real tough dude um damn dude that's got whew. how do you feel about that like how do you feel after having a guy literally ghost you after looking at you that's crazy then they just don't respond out of nowhere just no reply for days and then may pop up maybe five or six days later like hey he got desperate yeah he got real desperate now he's looking for something else he's like damn i really struck out on multiple women i'ma really need to probably hit this girl back up that i literally ghosted because she looked like frog legs as if we just supposed to disregard the entire week that you did not reply to anything not your girlfriend i'm not asking you to be here all the time i think these lashes are not on correctly right they're kind of fading off a little bit right am i wrong they stick it up at the ends here but i just want to remind you that you're worth a response you're worth a reply it's just simple communication yeah no you're not worth a reply that's not how that works at all what do you mean you're worth a reply you're not worth a reply if the other person doesn't want to reply that's not how that works at all if you're just randomly hitting up somebody on the internet or over a dating app why would you ever think you're worth a reply you're a nobody to them you have no, there's you hold no value to that individual therefore you if you do get a message back no that's not how that works what do you mean you deserve that's not how that works at all it's about what the other person thinks you deserve if they just if they think I don't want to text you anymore. They don't have to text you anymore. Why do you think you're entitled to that other person texting you? It's just simple etiquette. You are worth- It's not about etiquette, dude. Like, just because- Just because it's etiquette to open a door for a lady, do people open the door for the lady? Nah. Do people, you know, is there etiquette for a grandmother? Uh, if they're on a public transportation, is there an etiquette for a grandmother being able to sit down, you get up and let the grandma take your seat? Yes, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Just because there's etiquette, just because there's- a social stigma involved doesn't mean that people are going to do that thing so when some, when you say you deserve the response back no the fuck you don't that even makes sense that doesn't even make sense on the other things at least when you're out in public on a public transportation you might have people that are going to look at you like bro you really not going to give that grandmother the seat dude that 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 could be some social some social things right there right but if we're talking about just 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 getting a response back nah that's not how that works at all who are you why do you think you're so entitled for that earth the response and a reply if at any point you feel like you have to beg for it dip out so you can dip out but but he can't I, I don't even understand so you could so he can't do that he has to reply but you can't ain't no point of even staying yeah true. not needed you're worth it are there apparently not i mean you didn't get that response so any other plus size girls out there who are absolutely disgusted with the dating game right now I think the dating game in general is pretty disgusting, dude, uh, especially on like, I mean, most people are dating people on dating apps because most people nowadays have really, really no social cues at all. Like people grew up on the internet, people that have absolutely no idea how to communicate with people on public, which makes sense, especially post COVID, man, post COVID. And then the fact that people are literally working nonstop on the internet or have like no social contact with anybody on public. Yeah, dude, it's, it's very hard to meet people nowadays out in public. So most people are dating uh, most people are finding people to be in a relationship with over dating apps, which is no problem at all. It is meta, but uh, it is actually pretty diabolical. A lot of people on dating apps might be using it for validation. I've met so many people that just go, I'm only using this app so men can tell me how pretty I am and I just use them for that. 
or maybe dinner dates. Maybe there are dudes that just looking to have sex with you, which has always been a thing. It's there. It's always been deplorable, but it seems like because it's it over the past five or six years, it's only gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. I really feel like if you haven't dated in like the last five years, dude, it is drastic. It is majorly different, dude. The meta has changed in such a major way. Like two months ago, I was gonna have coffee with this guy. The plan was I was gonna get off work. I meet him there. We'd have a great time, right? Don't have a problem with coffee dates, by the way. Usually those are like the most chill places to meet people because you don't know if you actually wanna devote time, effort, or whatever you wanna do with this person because you don't even know this person. Why would I take you on a dinner date or a movie or something cringy like that when we could just meet up at a coffee shop or a shop and take a walk somewhere? And then after that, maybe we could do something after that if it works out, if the chemistry is there, if we have the right connection. But usually that takes a little bit of time to figure out. So I work in childcare specifically. I'm a private, I'm a privatized nanny. So my boss is running behind, which means I wouldn't get off in time to make it at the exact time. So I text him and I'm like, hey, like we've been talking for a couple weeks at this point. Like a couple weeks and you finally put a date together, dude. I don't know. That seems a little bit, seems a little bit red flaggy. We were going to have coffee. We were going to have, I was super excited. I text him, hey, my bosses aren't here yet. Is it okay if we push back to like 4.30 instead of 4? Mm. Now, mind you, the coffee shop is just down the street, but I was like, just in case they're running really behind, I don't want to have to reschedule this again. I don't want to be rude. Tell me why this man texts me back and says, hey, actually, I was thinking about it, and actually, I think it's a good thing that we're pushing back the date because thank you, thinking about it more, I think you're actually a little bit bigger than I would normally go out with. Damn, that's tough, bro. He really used that as a, he really used that as an excuse to tell you you're fat. That's crazy, bro. Damn, man, that's gotta really hurt. I often say it seems like a lot of these big women have these issues consistently, where dudes are going like, "Damn, you kind of a little bit bigger than I usually go out with," or like, "You're you're a little bit too big for me," or whatever. That just, if it keeps coming up as an issue like this, like the fact that she said like this is oh this keeps happening, or like this is a consistent issue for her on dating apps. Bro, what are we doing? Is there really nothing we can do about that? Yeah, I, I get you did your makeup, you did you put on your you put on your earrings here and all this other stuff. Couldn't you make this video while you was in the gym or maybe eating like some calorie deficit foods, bro? We kinda like go back and forth a little bit and I was like, okay, were you just gonna like ghost me? Probably not. I mean it seems like he was gonna meet up with you until you said that and he was like, Thank god I have a reason now not to show up. Were you just like gonna not show up? He was like, no, I was going to show up. I'm sure we would have had a nice time, but this is only going to be a one-time thing. Yeah, well, that's... Why even bother then, honestly, at that point, dude? I don't. I, if I have no intention of dating you, I don't really care enough to even entertain that process. Like, there have been too many times where I showed up at a date and I thought, it ain't going to work. Like, ah, uh, this person is obviously not compatible with me, whether that be because they're physically unattractive to me or I just don't like the way they speak, which is a lot of times, like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that scenario where you meet somebody... And you think, wow, this person is crazy looking, like absolutely top tier, gorgeous, right? But then you hear them talk and you're like, ooh, damn, dude, that is tough. I do not like the way you think about stuff. And the voice sometimes can be really off-putting. I know a lot of people sit there and go, it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad for somebody to have a bad voice or a bad laugh. Sometimes it is, dude. Sometimes you listen to somebody like, oof, that is not the right, I don't know what happened. Sometimes you look at somebody and you hear them talking like, that makes no sense, dude. How the hell did you get that type of voice, that type of laugh with the way you look? That makes no sense to me. But damn, that's got to be real tough, dude. Like I said, I think he was probably going to meet up with you and he's probably just going to go like wing it and just see what it was like, take a chance, take a risk and break away. But it seems like he never really was attracted to you be enough to begin with. So he was like, no, I was going to show up. I'm sure we would have had a nice time, but this is only going to be a one time thing. Whew. So, of course, being the woman that I am, I'm like, oh, no, this is... Well, it seems like it's... Yeah, obviously, he just said, like, he... Okay, first of all, I don't know why people got to sit there and say, like, oh, I did the... I took the initiative. You didn't take the initiative. You wanted to meet up with him, and then he was like, yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm not really feeling it, actually. I don't think I want to meet up with you. You're a little bit too big, way too big, matter of fact. Big as fuck, by the way. I don't think I want to meet up with you. And then you go, oh, yeah? Well, I don't want to meet up with you. And then, you, then you're sitting there saying like, oh, being the woman that I am. What do you mean being the woman that you are? You literally took an L. The guy literally sat there and said he didn't want to meet up with you. And then you try to go, well, I'm not fired. I quit. 
I guess. I mean, if that's what you want to do to get some pride, but it looks dumb. It looks dumb. This has nothing to do with being the woman that you are. It's just, it's okay to take an L every once in a while. You know how many times that I've met up with a girl or like the girl never showed up or you get ghosted or whatever. It happens. It's all right. It's okay. You don't have to have like your pride be hurt. It's all right. Things like this happen, dude. It's a normal aspect of dating in 2024, even before that, dude. And probably for the future too. It's okay to take L's every once in a while, dude. I don't know why she got to sit here and take it so defensively though. This is only going to be a one-time thing. So he said, this is only going to be a one-time thing, right? He, he literally just said he didn't want to go a minute ago, but he probably felt bad. And he was like, you know what? Yeah, we'll probably meet up. So, of course, being the woman that I am, I'm like, oh, no, this is not happening. Let's just cancel it now, whatever. Goodbye. Goodbye. Tell me why 24 hours later, this man is in my DMs. He's desperate. Nah, I mean, it's just what it is, dude, okay? There's a lot of dudes out there that are very down bad. I mean, there are guys out here literally in 2024 paying women just to exist or having... I literally met a woman two days ago that told me that she would... It would be like, what did she say? $60 for an hour conversation with her. And she told me that she would be the only one talking and the guy would just sit there and listen, which is crazy. You're paying her just to have a conversation with herself. And dudes are willing to do that. A lot of dudes nowadays have absolutely no social skills. They have probably a lot of them are virgins. A lot of them have, especially younger guys, bro. Oh, yeah. Oftentimes, I think like, man, it's such it's such a great thing for me to have grown up in an era where I had one foot in the real world and one foot into the the, uh, the internet realm because like I can kind of relate to both sides and both aspects, right? But it seems like for a lot of people, especially Gen Zers, dude, you just don't have that real world experience. So you don't have the ability to like meet up with women or talk to people, actually have social skills. And the only social skills you have are when your friends light up on Discord and they hit you up with a notification telling you to hit on that, you know, Fortnite or whatever, dude. That's what it is nowadays. So it's tough uh, for a lot of dudes nowadays. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy probably just hit her up because he was just really down bad. Goodbye. Tell me why 24 hours later. Not an anomaly, by the way. If a guy hits you up 24 hours later, then that just, I, what is that an indication of? He's just probably desperate. This man is in my DMs. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Yeah, he just, he just hitting you up. Damn. If he's saying, yeah, what are you doing tonight? He's trying to smash right that's what that is he's not so he wanted to just get that date out of the way to see what you was like you was too big and then he was like fuck it like we're not doing it because you said no apparently and then he was like well since that's not working let's just see if she's open to have sexual intercourse with me um every dude wants to smell your vagina i don't know what to tell you about that there are a bunch of dudes out there that are willing to have sexual pizza rolls or wet spaghettis there's plenty of things that guys will dip their penises in and your vagina is always going to be three four five levels higher than that so even if you are very very fat i would never look at it as anything other than this guy's just down bad he's desperate he's just trying to have sex with somebody and it's really sad but that's the way it is right and every every girl knows this from the, about the time they're like 13 years old like every dude sexualizes you you understand that guys are just trying to always be you know trying to impregnate your uterine your uterus it is what it is okay uh, it's just something that most girls know about. I, I just don't understand most of the time when women go like, can you believe this guy? Yeah, I can believe that guy. Yeah, obviously, dude. Like, have you never been around dudes? Dudes are fucking dogs, bro. And don't get me wrong. Women are also deplorable human beings. A lot of women will emotionally manipulate dudes and, you know, string them along and stuff like that. So, like, it's equal, right? It just depends on which way you want to get fucked. It's like, <laughs> it's either you're getting physically fucked or you're getting emotionally fucked. Either way, it's not good. I'm sorry. Do you think... I'm going to give you kitty cat? Yeah, that's what he thought. After you just told me that I was too big to be seen in public with? Yeah, that's what he thought. He thought he could He thought he thought could hit it real quick. But then you want to see me behind closed doors? Like, I know this is not just me. Yeah, it's not just you. It's, all, it's most women, actually, so. But, oh, my gosh, I was fuming. And I was like, <laughs> uh, no, no. It has now, like I said, been two months since I heard from this dude. He hit you back up? Just found, he found my Instagram. Cause I blocked him on everything else. He found my Instagram and just messaged me, wanting to come over. And what'd you say, bro? What, bro? What is even the purpose of this? You just had a guy that was really, really down bad, dude. This guy probably his his dick dry as hell. Is it is what it is, okay? A lot of these dudes think they're all like, okay, in the moment you may think you're a lot more valuable than you actually are, and then you realize, oh wait, I'm just really musty. I don't really have any value at all. What am I doing, bro? And then when worse comes to worse, bro, you you accept anything, right? 
Mm -mm. I would truly love for someone to sit down and explain to these guys because I know I'm not the only girl who's experienced this. Most women experience that, right? Let me know down below in the comment section. I've, I've heard many horror stories of women telling me about how men will just tell them like, hey, let's hang out in my place or whatever. And you know, it's really anomalistic to me when I talk to these, sometimes I'll talk to girls and they'll go, I met up with this dude, he seemed cool, but then he invited me over to his house and I told him if I come over, we're not having sex. We're not doing anything sexual at all. And the guy will go, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I interrupt and I go, but you knew he wanted to have sex, right? And she goes, no, I told him no. And then you go, so what, what, what are you talking about? That's like telling a bear that you don't want him to eat you. Like, obvi yes, obviously he's gonna tell you no. Obviously he's gonna say like, oh yeah, of course, we're not having sex at all. But like, you're going over to his house to do what? eat food and watch Netflix? Dude, he wants to have sex with you. He wants to smell your vagina. Why would you think anything other? And then it's always like, you hear the story play out full and it's like, he literally tried to kiss me and he tried to put his hands down my pants and you go, I, yeah, I know. You knew too. You obviously knew. Why would you not know that? You knew if a guy invites, oh, first of all, if you don't even notice that, okay? And a guy invites you over, okay? Yeah, he wants to have sex with you. What else could that possibly mean at all, bro? Can you get get to know this dude first? And by the way, it's fine if you want to have sex with people. I don't care. But if your intention is to find a relationship and you're just going over to random dudes' houses expecting anything other than this guy trying to smell your vagina five times in a row, yes, it's obvious, okay? Uh, oftentimes, I have to like, I don't know why I have to tell so many women this. Like, bro, you have to be a little bit more intuitive than this, bro. What are you talking? You know this guy wants to. And he, I always ask him, like, did you knew this, right? And once you once you dig a little bit and you dig and you dig, you always get that answer like, I mean, I kind of knew that he wanted to. I know you did. Why don't you just keep it a buck? Why are you playing ignorant, dude? It is what it is. This guy wanted to smell your vagina. It is what it is. It's okay. Like I said, if you want to have sex, that's fine. But if you want to have a relationship, don't just go over to random guys' houses, especially if you don't even know them. I would love for someone to sit down and explain to these guys that... We are not just pieces of meat. Well, yes, I know. You guys, okay, look, a lot of younger dudes and even dudes around my age, right? And even older guys, don't look at women anything other don't look at women as anything other than property or pieces of meat or not even human beings a lot of the times. And it's it's difficult it's difficult to explain this, but it's more so like most dudes in the right light look at women as people, but most of the time men are not really thinking like that. Like men are really just kind of thinking about like what they can get out of you, if that makes any sense. And I'm, I'm not saying that I'm different, depending on the scenario, of course, right? You know the scenarios I'm talking about when you're really like feeling some type of way, you're like, I just want to, I just want to be a caveman. Like I just want to do, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, dude? I just want to, I don't even want to think about stuff right now. I want to pretend like I don't even know how to read. And... That can be cool sometimes, depending on the person that you're with, right? But for the most part, when you're younger, it's very, very, it's very hard because you don't have a lot of social cues, you don't have a lot of experience, and you will look at women as like just bodies, bro. And it's it's really crazy. It's really it's nasty. It is what it is. It takes a little bit of time to get over it. But don't get me wrong. There's a lot of women that also think like that as well. That we are people with feelings. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like he didn't think that you were a person with feelings. He just kind of thought that you were just vagina at that time. And if you're interested in us, take us on a date. Let us take you on a date. <sighs> Whatever. But, like, if you're so insecure in your masculinity that you can't be seen in public with a plus-size woman because... I don't know if you're insecure in your masculinity to not be seen with a plus-size woman. It's probably just really not even about masculinity at that point. It's probably just like, damn, this girl's real big. I don't know if she's going to be able to fit through the door. You're afraid of what people are going to think? Because you're afraid of what people are going to think? <sighs> Baby, if you're that scared, stay home and use your hand. Get off dating apps. True, dude. Just beat your meat real quick. Am I the problem? I'm yes. Whenever somebody... <laughs> whenever somebody hits me up with, am I the problem, nine times out of ten, you're the problem. You're the problem. If you're that scared, stay home and use your hand. Get off dating apps. Am I the problem? I know I'm not the problem, but let me know if you think I'm These lashes got some dead ends, bro. Why do they look like this, man? I do not like these long ass lashes that like, it looks like you're curling five pound dumbbells on your eyelashes, dude. And they look so thick too, man. Why are they so, I can't even see the skin behind them. I personally don't make it past three days talking to somebody, like talking to a new dude, more than three days, barely make it to day three. I would need to know more and how many dates you've been on. If it's like one or two guys and you just started dating, it's like one or two guys or maybe three guys. It's like, it's all right. It's probably not your fault, right? Maybe you just really met into like, you just probably met with some really weird guys. But if it's like 20, 30 dudes and you can't make it past a third day, 
then it's probably you. You probably have some unrealistic standards. You probably are thinking about things a little bit too deeply. You're probably making things a bigger deal than they actually are. It's probably you. I just feel like in order to really like make it with somebody and develop a connection, there's a certain level of willful ignorance that you must embody. Like you gotta ignore some shit and let some shit slide. And you know, once you let a motherfucker slide, they start treating like it's slipping side record. Some things are okay to let slide. Like it, it just depends on what those things are. And I hope that you are willing to discern what those things are. Like I remember I was talking to this girl and at first I thought she was like really cool. But then she was telling me, she's like, oh yeah, I'm living with my ex right now. And I'm like, oh, okay, well that's, Okay, well, that's terrible. Like, all right, that's not that's not optimal at all. And then you go, oh, it's probably because you don't have financial, like, independent ship, so you probably can't do that. And she was like, oh, yeah, that's the reason. And then, like, 10 minutes later, she's like, oh, yeah, he beats me. And you're like, um, like, what do you mean he beats you? And he's like, oh, yeah, he, you know, every once in a while when I misspeak or whatever, I'm like, what do you, 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 what do you I can't date you, bro. Like, you know, it kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And obviously, this is extreme or... I remember one time I was talking to a girl and she said that uh, that she could fix me. That's also a red flag. I'm not tr I'm not in the business of being fixed. That's also a super red flag. You might be the person that like forgives that or whatever. Sometimes people will say things that are really really off, and you just kind of go, mm, it's not the worst, but it's also like not very optimal either. But if they do other things, then maybe you can forgive them for that. But it is what it is. Um, <laughs> sometimes you will have to take on a few red flags. Person doing a dougie on your ass. And I'm just not going for it. I just simply can there's going to be, regardless of who you're dating, there's always going to be red flags. And I'm thinking this woman's probably looking at it in the sense of like, the guy needs to have none, which is never going to happen. As you get older, you become more and more red flagged up. It's just what it is. Not subscribe to letting you get away with little things to not seem like I'm complaining or I'm nagging. Somebody told me that I complained too early too soon. What are we trying to get to know each other for if I can't express my grievances? It just depends on what you mean by complaining or nagging, dude. Like, what do you call... I don't want to be around somebody either that complains and nags. Like, I don't like that. When you're, okay, it's so, it's so terrible to be around somebody that always has a problem with everything. I just hate that shit. Like, there, I get it. Nothing is going to be perfect. And you're, there are going to be things to complain about. Naturally, as time progresses, you're going to become, you're going to become more and more, like, less satisfied with stuff. But I don't know if you guys have ever been around somebody that always has a problem with everything everything dude like everything dude like you ask somebody and you ask somebody like hey can you help me uh find something in a grocery store or whatever and that person's like oh i don't know where it is i'll be right back and that person goes can you believe how unprofessional they are like oh my god i can't even believe that and you're just thinking like what the fuck are you what are you talking about right now dude like what that, that person probably just didn't know what this stuff was and they're helping us right now like what are you talking about or like when somebody complains that like the tree like there's a like some wood on the floor from a tree and he's like what are you talking why do you have a problem with everything they like everything i just don't like that or when people complain about the, the the weirdest things, like, oh, yeah, um, I don't have my lip gloss right now. And it's like, I get it. You want moist lips. But, like, why are you crying? You know? I don't know. Sometimes it's sometimes it's just really weird, bro. Um, I've been wearing the same shirt for five years. It has a hole in it. And you're complaining about your lip gloss? I don't know. It's okay to complain about stuff. But sometimes I feel like people go too far. And it's not very – I don't want to be around somebody that complains very often. Plus, I need to- Especially nagging. Nagging is a very particular set of complaining, which is not good at all. Early too soon. What are we trying to get to know each other for if I Oh, and she's come. Oh, right. Sorry, you guys did. I was not on full screen. But uh, also, if, if this is something that continuously comes up over and over and over again, then I get it. You know, it, it is you. Yes, it is you 100%. Like one one complaint that I consistently get whenever I talk to women is I'm overly aggressive. Like I can I consistently make fun of them or uh, I'm very like overly- um, flirty in a whistle whistle word like an aggressive way like i'm always trying to battle and uh yeah i agree i totally agree dude but then again stop being a bitch dude like just fucking like battle back dude it's fun stop <laughs> if i can't express my grievances it's not it's not fun to be with somebody that's not going to be willing to like poke fun at each other plus i need to see how you respond to feedback anyways because if you i would need to know what the feedback is dude if you coming up to me and you go like you smell like straight butter biscuits right now you look like steve buscemi's kneecaps I'm going to be upset a little bit. I'm going to be upset. Or if you tell me, like, I didn't dress the right way for you or whatever. Uh, or you're just upset that my astrology sign doesn't match up with yours. And now you're complaining about that. Then I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't like it. You want to tell me something that you don't like? I'm going to at least hear you out. But too soon? I think that... Uh... I think that this woman is probably gaslighting a little bit, dude. I would need to know exactly what she's saying in terms of, like, complaining and nagging, dude. It's too easy for somebody to go, like, I would listen to you. No, the fuck you wouldn't do. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>
complaining you just don't like me and that is really the issue all of this stuff will be so easy if you just like the person I if I like somebody, you're willing to forgive more about them, sure, but that shouldn't excuse bad behavior. So if you're acting like an asshole and you're expecting somebody to forgive you because they like you, that's not the right, that's terrible. That's some really toxic ass shit that you just said right there. What do you mean you're not calling me every day? We don't need to talk every day. We don't need to talk every day. Are you an adult? Do you not have like responsibilities? Do you not have like things that you have to do? Like, it's okay. I understand the sentiment. I understand like you want me to call you. I understand that you're, you might not be busy. What if I'm busy? What if like our schedules conflict and I'm not able to call you that day? What if I'm able to call you the next day? Is that okay? Is that not okay? I have to call you every single day. I have to give you like good morning text messages. No, that's not how that works. Are you not an adult? Dude, Date anybody past the age of 25. You are not getting that text back every single day. That's crazy as hell. Some people are busy. Some people got hobbies. Some people got shit they got to do outside of work. You're sitting here going, you got to call me every single day is very, very, very entitled. You don't like me. Because I didn't call you every day. Every day I got to call you. What's the time I got to be on the phone for you? So no, we're not going to make it. I'm not going to let you play in my face more than 48 hours because by 72, you're cut. I got my... Yeah, she gonna be single. She she gonna be single for a long time, bro. First fat phobic message on a dating app. I've been on dating apps for, God, I don't know, since they've been around. I don't even know. Um, and today I got Smoked my coffee first on fat phobic comment. Um, well, technically it was yesterday because it's like five in the morning. Um, yeah, I have something in my profile about like, if you have a dog, I want to meet it. Um, and homeboy said, uh, you need to meet uh diet though. damn that's crazy bro completely off the cuff like that not even like it's not even relevant to the conversation yes i did spill coffee on myself but here's the thing i spilled coffee on myself i don't really care there was coffee on the brim and it like touched my chin and it dripped but here's the thing okay earlier today i also spilled coffee on myself uh earlier on with a white shirt so i don't really care at this point um, at this point, this is just a, basically a beater shirt at this point. But uh, anyway, not even relevant. Just a guy randomly bringing up that you're fat AF and that you need to meet a, a, the... First of all, if a girl hits you up and goes, I would love to meet your dog, that's her basically saying that she wants to have sex, right? I heard also at one point that when girls say that you have nice hands, that girls are basically saying that they want to have sex with you right away. Somebody can let me know down below what that means, uh, if that is true or not. But I've had a few times that girls, girls have told me that my hands are nice. I've been told I have really nice, delicate fingers. Um, but you know what? I remember one time I was talking to this girl. And she was telling me about how her Asian boyfriend doesn't have a big meat. And she was like, I don't really like that. He's, he's small. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's terrible. I'm sure he has other redeeming qualities, right? And he was like, she was like, yeah, he has big fingers. And I was like. Oh, I mean, I kind of, I thought you was talking, I was more like less talking about like maybe he had good experiences, maybe he's like emotionally compatible with you, like, but yeah, big fingers too, that also was pretty good, yeah, yeah, you right. Fuck, that's exactly what he said. You need to be on a diet, the fuck? Damn, damn, <laughs> damn, bro. You need to be on a diet, the fuck? That's crazy as fuck, bro, was this guy black? I said, oh, oh. <laughs> damn, you, you acted like a bitch, bro. Damn, I would have said something like, damn, you should have, you should meet that fucking dermatologist, bro. You fucking, you got too much ash on your face right now. Go get that deluxe version of that cocoa butter or something. I don't know. I would have talked some shit. Well, and it's just like mind boggling. And especially if you're doing it over text, you have the ability to like really think about stuff and you could just, you know, you could reply whenever. Because like. Uh, is it really mind boggling? And by the way, this is your first fat, except this is your first fat phobic experience and you've been on dating apps forever. That's crazy how long have you been on apps like what do you get like one person that hits you up like a year that's crazy i feel like i've gotten fat phobic comments before on my dating profile before i feel like i've had people hit me up and go like yo bro you're fucking fat as shit you look really voluptuous in the hips you got childbearing hips dog i'm not trying to be with any man that got more childbirthing hips than me i feel like i've gotten that comment more than probably i should but i've been also told that i got childbearing shoulders if you know you know and uh, I don't, I don't. But uh, I feel like that's not that bad, dude. Like if somebody says you need to meet a diet, that's not too bad, that's like really light. Sir, what did I do to you? Like He's just, like the thing about dating apps and being on the internet in general is like, there's really no, like, what do you want? Like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be not mean, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm always gonna be nice, but that doesn't mean that other people are. Literally, 
what what did I do? Exist? What were you trying to accomplish? It might just be like he thought that you were so big that the thought of you hitting him up was so like crazy to him that he needed you to put he needs he needed to put you in your place, you know? Like I've had that a few times where I hit up a girl and I was like, I don't know, I said some bo- like basic bitch bullshit like, "Hey, what what's your favorite flavor of deodorant or some bullshit like that?" And I remember this one girl was one time she was like the fact that you thought that you could hit me up, look in the way that you do, you look like you smell. Like, you look worse than the bottom of my shoes that I've been wearing since 2011. You are busted. And I'm just thinking, like, you matched with me. Like, this is, you know what I'm saying? This is Bumble. Like, you said hi to me first. Like, what are you talk? Why would you ever hit me up if you were just going to sit there and bum rush my shit like that? Like, what was the purpose of that? And that's happened to me, like, four times, dude. Like, what? why does that keep happening? right because all i did was exist on an app people who are like looking for love most of them are looking for hookups yeah it's like that with the internet too a lot of people will just say things because they think they're right when in reality they're just not it is what it is bro sometimes it's just really ignorant people and it's all right but you know um that's all i did like all i did was exist and that existence made you so i don't know mad not mad. I'm sure, I don't know why people think that so many people are mad because they said something disrespectful to you. Like, you can say it in the most calm tone of voice ever and be like, yeah, I just think you're kind of fat. And somebody can go, why are you mad? And you're sitting there like, what? What are you talking about mad? Like, bro, I'm like perfectly calm, dude. I just like, I just ate lasagna and drank an iced tea. What are you talking about? I'm good, dude. Like, I'm chilling out, bro. And then, uh, like, they just project it so much. Because I think it, I think if somebody says, like, why are you mad? It, it, it tries to make it seem like you have a, an emotional response when the reality of the situation is like, nah, it's, I'm chilling, dude. Like, what are you talking about? Disgusted. Like, you were like, I have to say something because she either doesn't know how fat she is or she knows how fat she is and she's okay with it. True. Or, sir, had you not considered the fact that I know how fat I am, I've tried dieting i'm sure that i feel like these people don't realize that nobody owes them like the backstory or thinking about like your life story and things like that like you're just a a nobody you understand that like to most people you're an npc most people you're a, a you're just a passerby or and they're the main character in their own lives and so when you think like has it ever occurred to you that I've been through stuff? I'm sure they've probably thought that you've been through stuff. Most people have been through stuff. But the issue is, I don't care. Like, most people are going to look at that as going, like, I, why do you think I should care about that? Like, I don't even... If I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm, I'm about to offend you, I'm about to talk shit to you, why would you think I would even care about your backstory? Like, what are you talking about, brother? Does that make any sense at all? If that dude just literally rashed your entire life... Why the hell would you think this guy was going to be concerned about the the trials and tribulations that you have been through (laughs) with your weight? Like, that's... Why would you think that, bro? Why? For the last... How old am I? 32? My first diet I ever... Yo, that's crazy. I didn't... I'm not going to play, dude. I'm... I'm, I keep... I keep running. No way she's 32, bro. She's 32? Man, dude. uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. What's up with people nowadays looking way older? 32 is relatively young, bro. Uh, You know, like... 32? I thought this one was in her 40s, bro. I'm not even playing with you. That's crazy as fuck. I'm just for some references. This woman's only a few years older than me. Not by much either. I remember going on. I was eight, like 24 years. No, 26 years. That can't possibly be it. Actually, I just celebrated my third anniversary of not dieting. Okay, so you got an issue, dude. If you're celebrating anniversaries of not dieting, damn, that's some really big back shit. What the fuck are you even doing? Wait, how do you even celebrate that? What are you going like? What are you going like Kmart? Or are you going like Walmart and buying like an ice cream cake? And, and like, you got to be sitting there by yourself, right? Ain't no way. Who the fuck is going to that depressing ass event? Hey, mom. Hey, my sister. Hey, my friends. You want to come over to the celebration of me celebrating the fact that I don't care about myself? It's going to be blast. There's going to be ice cream cake. There's going to be chips, Doritos. Basically what I eat already every day. But you guys can come over also and watch me eat it. Um, so I'm really excited for that. But like, literally- yeah, you, bro. I think this woman got different priorities, bro. I mean, I've never even, I've never heard somebody say I'm celebrating not dieting. I've never. That's crazy as hell, bro. First rate of not. That'd be like sell up like. That'd be like a parent celebrating the fact that their kids are not dead. Like it's just so weird. You know what I'm saying? It's just like what. I just it's such a it's such a backwards way of doing it. 
Um, so I'm really excited for that. But like, literally, my existence just like made you have to say something. Like, yeah, you that's. Just... Dude, have you never been on the Earth ever, dude? Have you never been rashed ever, dude? So this is one of the reasons why I think it's such a great thing that I grew up in the old school Call of Duty eras, where you would just join a game and somebody would see a name and it would be like, "Yo, I bet you're gay." I bet, I bet you suck a lot of dick, bro. I bet you're really gay. And then you just got to tell them. You just got to tell them straight out. Like, yo, bro, your mom right now, she had to unhinge her jaw to fit my entire big phallus-shaped meat right in her mouth. I actually, um, she's actually right here on the mic right now. Hold up. Let me get the mic for you so you can hear her talk. Hold up. Oh, my bad, bro. She can't talk right now. Her mouth is full. I'm just so happy that I could have that ability to just sit there for hours of a day when I was like a teenager and a young a young child, sorry, uh, an, a, an old teenager, and just battle people consistently for hours upon end, just talk a shit, because that's what it was. Every day, it was just somebody just challenging you to a verbal assault, and if you, if you weren't good, if you didn't have that comeback, you lost, and I see like a lot of people online nowadays, and they go, I just can't believe somebody called me fat. That's light. That's light, bro. That's really fucking light. Have you ever had... Have you ever had an 11-year-old tell you that you look like a humpback seagull? Have you ever had an 11-year-old tell you that your mom was sucking them off? Have you ever had that happen to you? Huh? Have you ever had an 11-year-old tell you that you gets no biddies? That shit happened to you every day without failure, bro. That was a normal thing. And you're sitting here complaining about some random dude on the internet that thought you was fat. Come on. Get your shit together. Just didn't like the fact that I existed that much. It's not even I, that. It's not. It's light. It's real light, bro. So that dude could have said many other things, bro. He could have said many, many, many other things. Took up space. Like, that's weird, right? That's no, it's not weird. That's normal. That's what the internet is, bro. How long? Man, you're 30. How old you are? 32 years old? You never experienced that shit? Privilege, man. It's weird. Fat phobic people. Are you okay? Like... <laughs> Here's some dating advice I wish I knew as a curvy girl before I started dating people. I used to be so incredibly insecure about my body that I felt completely ashamed and I didn't know my worth. I didn't know my worth so I was completely setting myself up for the wrong dating experiences and I was attracting completely the wrong people. Usually when you're younger you have to sort through these types of things because you don't know what who you are and how to navigate the dating realm because you would never have done that before nobody's going to teach you either because it's different like if you talk to an older person and you go like how do i how do i get to talk to girls or whatever they'll go yeah just like, just be yourself just walk up to girls dude and just talk to them and you go like what do you mean walk up to girls like do you think i'm gonna get a like a restraining order like you that's how you get them like you get walk up to girls and get like a restraining order like what do you mean by walk up to, you don't do that anymore like it's it's such a it's like, you ever talk to an old person, you're like, dude, how do I make money like you? And they'll go, just go and work a minimum wage job and save up money for your family. And you're, and you're like looking at this guy like, what are you talking about? What do you mean save up money, bro? Like, what are you talking about, dude? I got Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, and Prime Video, and you're telling me to save money? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. What do you mean save money for a home? What do you, What is that? I don't even know what that idea is. What is home? What is that? Anyway. It's the same thing there. A lot of people have no idea how to navigate the online dating realm. So you're probably going to have to date a few people that are going to be bad eggs. I know I had to, bro. When I first started dating, I was dating some really musty girls. It is what it is. You don't even know what you're doing at that point. I remember literally meeting up with a girl that was like 450. And I was like, fuck it. I mean, I don't know. I'm ugly. I'm ugly, dude. I'm, I, I, when you get out of high school, bro, you think you're ugly because you didn't know how to talk to girls in general. So you're just like, dude, this girl actually is talking to me. Uh, I mean, yes, she can barely breathe and, you know, she has a hard time standing up, but she thinks that I'm cool and maybe I can, you know, smell her vagina maybe if it was, you know, edible. So there's that, right? But you have to go through a lot of bullshit to figure out what your value is and know how you represent yourself and know, know what you bring to the table. That we're never going to show me what true love is, that we're never going to show me true appreciation. And I had a complete mindset shift. I went away, I moved country, and I did a bit of soul searching. And clearly I found my soul because when I came back here to this country, 
Mr. Man turned up and flipped my whole world upside down and showed me what true love and appreciation were and never made me feel like my body had anything to do with who I was as a person. It's okay to date somebody that doesn't prioritize your body in terms of like physical attraction, but you should also want to be with somebody that does find you physically attractive. And if you're fat and or overweight or obese or any of those things, and the person that you're with doesn't care about that stuff, it might seem okay at first. Like I'm sure that a lot of people are totally fine with not actually confronting the person about these issues because it's a normal issue. It's not like a big issue depending on how fat you are. If you were really obese, I would stress if your person wasn't saying anything at all, that is a major red flag. If the person that you're with is uh, not saying anything and you're only like 20 or 30 pounds over, it's probably not that bad. It's probably okay. If you're a little bit or you got a little bit of chub to you, it's probably not that bad. But you should want the person that you're with to find you attractive. You should want the person that you're with to push you to be better, at least in shape, because it's not good to not be in shape. It's actually a detriment to you, health-wise and attraction-wise. So what was the mindset shift? When it seems like there was no mindset shift. It literally seems like you did soul, sh soul searching, came back, and the guy just bumped into you. From a state of feeling very insecure about... Don't know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the my body to fully accepting myself for who I was because do you know what your body has nothing to do with your worth yeah no that's not true yeah that's not true at all bro um if you're not if you're not looking good if you're not putting your best foot forward I mean ask anybody that that has physical disabilities it's very tough for them to find people to be with dude so that should automatically debunk it of course that's a very extreme metric that we're using there but by every metric, dude, uh, more attractive people get more attention. Um, people that have better physical traits are going to get more attention. It is what it is. So if you're sitting here and you're saying that physical attraction has nothing to do with it, yeah, it's, you can gaslight yourself into believing that. Do not believe that shit, dude, okay? When you show up to a job interview, what do you do? You're, you're, wearing, your best, you're wearing your best suit. You're wearing your best, best tie. You're wearing whatever the fuck you wear as a lady. I guess your pants suit. I don't know. There's that. You, you wear what you wear because you know you're trying to impress that individual. Physical The physical shape of your body and how you appear to other people is very, very important. And I know that it's probably better to hear yourself say it's not because you could just coax yourself into believing a basic bullshit. Uh, because maybe it's not that important to you, but it is. It is actually very important. So if you don't look good, you're going to have a hard time. Um, if you're not trying, you're going to have a hard time. So no, that's bullshit. That's 100% bullshit. This woman is literally like just flat out lying to herself. <laughs> And I do believe she thinks that. I do believe she probably does think that physical attraction is not actually a real metric that we should be applying for. Nah. Uh, I do believe that she does believe that, but it's, that's... No. Don't believe that. That's terrible. Your body... Be realistic. Be realistic, dude. It has nothing to do with your worth. The way that you look has nothing to do with your worth. The way that you treat people, the things that you learn... Yeah, but the thing is, like... The thing is like the way you treat people and like the underlying stuff that makes you the person that you the person that you are is not easy to see unless you're going third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh date or you're dating somebody for months. Like these things take time to realize. But you know what you do see right away? Looks. You you see somebody how they appear to you right away. You're not you're not seeing how well they treat somebody by just bumping into them on the street or like looking through their Tinder profile. No, you're not, right? You're not seeing any of that stuff. So I, I understand what you're saying. I really do. But with all due respect, none of, no, my bad. No respect here. That's bullshit. That's all fucking bullshit. I'm happy that you have character traits that in character development. But for most people, nobody really cares about that shit when they first meet up with you. Nobody, bro. They're, they're worried about what you look like first and foremost. And that other stuff comes later. So, you know, it, she's fooled herself she's fooled herself dude and i know you know what i'm talking about dude people that are attractive get more attention people that are less attractive get less attention and that's all right it's okay that's how the world works that's how the world works bro more attractive cars get more attention less attractive cars don't get that, that, that much attention and your relationships friends family that is what determines your experience in this life, not what your body looks like. Yeah, but we're not talking about experience in your life. We're talking about physical attraction, right? Like, if you're sitting here... Okay, bro. Whatever, bro. This is, a, this is dumb. And I also decided to allow myself to take up the space that I deserve. I hear that a lot. I hear the take up the space I deserve. I said, Wait, what are you talking about? Like, spreading out? Like, not crossing your legs? Like, just taking up three or four spots of 
chairs? Like, is that what you mean? Like, just spreading out? Like, you're fucking John Travolta in, in Saturday Night Fever whenever he sat down? Or, like, Tony Montana. That's a really good one. You ever see Tony Montana, how he sits? He, always, like, always sits on his back. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Is that the way you were sitting, just slouching out? Like, what does that even mean, taking up space? What are you talking about? Loved and not to try and make myself smaller, dim my light for anybody. Well, you wouldn't be dimming your light because you're making yourself smaller. You would make yourself more brighter, actually. Wouldn't that be the case? Nobody at all. And obviously, as you can guess, like, as soon as I did that, I attracted the man of, man of my dreams. I hope it works out. Most relationships fail until you find the right one. So I hope it works out, dude. But the way that she described me and this guy made it seem like it was just a random occurrence. So I don't even know necessarily if the... That's like somebody saying like, dude, I, I, I worked on myself, okay? I accrued skills. I made myself more valuable. And guess what? It all worked out. I won the lottery. None of those skills mattered if you won the lottery, okay? That's a, none of that shit actually matters at all. All the work that you just told me about and then you hit me with a, I won the lottery, which it sounds like what she did here. I don't care. Uh, at that point, you just basically just told me all that shit was for nothing. All that work that you did is literal useless at that point into my life the right person will always make you feel loved and appreciated it just depends on what you mean dude like i feel like this person is on that disney that disney love mentality dude sometimes the person that you're with is going to make you feel bad but guess what the short the short term this the, the short term bad feelings uh for a better long term feeling sometimes you need to tell that person stuff that's not that's not going to make them feel good and that's okay that's what relationships are it takes a lot of compromise takes a lot of conversations that you don't want to talk about but you're gonna have to talk about the right person will it just kind of seems like this woman has how old it's just like crazy to me because this woman seems like she's in her like late 20s right like she doesn't look old but it seems like she has no experience. Like, it seems like she's never actually dated anybody before. Even in the relationship that she's in right now, I'm actually questioning whether or not it's a real relationship because it seems like she actually has never had conversation with the person before. You, when you're in a relationship, there are going to be moments that you argue. There's going to be moments where you don't want to do something, but you're going to have to do it anyway. There are going to be moments that you're going to have to compromise on. It takes a lot of work to maintain a relationship. What do you? How long have you been dating this guy? Like, a month? Like, what is, like, what's the extent, bro? I would love to know because, like, the way she's describing it, it's hogwash. All this shit is like a big facade. None of this makes any sense. The right person will always make you feel loved and appreciated. The right person will also allow you to take up the space. It's just, it's just, it's such a fucking weird way of looking at it, bro. You're setting so many people up for failure, dude. Most people are not getting that. Like when you date somebody, it's okay for that person to not like you every, every, every sense of who you are. It's okay to date somebody and not like the fact that they leave the door open when they take a shit or the fact that they leave a fan in the window for nine days straight and they never shut it off a single time. Or you date a guy and he's got like a one size fits all shampoo hair conditioner body wash and detergent that he uses for everything like there are going to be things that you don't like about that person but guess what you sit down with that person and you go babe i don't like when you do dishes with face soap i don't like that actually i really don't like when i eat off of your plates and it smells like irish spring it personally it's not the best and there are going to be some arguments he's probably going to go but babe i'm being economical right I mean, like, I'm only spending, like, $344 on the, the, the Old Spice, and it lasts me five months. You, all of your stuff literally costs hundreds of dollars. And then you got to go, yes, but even Old Spice is better than Irish Spring. Couldn't, like, could we just have a deli? You know what I'm saying? There's going to be conversations on those. So... It's okay to have conversations that you're not going to like, and that's okay. The way this woman's describing it is like, you should be finding somebody that's never going to have a problem with literally anything that about you because they should love you unconditionally and always appreciate everything about you. No, you're going to have bad shit, and they're going to look at that stuff and go, nah, that's not good. You deserve And that's okay. In fact, they'll encourage it. So, let me ask you a question. If I was a crackhead, right? Let's just say I was like, let's just say, let's say hypothetically I was a heroin addict and I was like, you know what, babe, I really love you. I really love that you really love me. I really love that you encourage my heroin addiction. You know, I just really love that you, you know, you love my heroin addiction and you love the fact that I do it so often. I mean, it's great. Uh, I'm probably going to not, I'm probably going to be predisposed for like the next four hours because I'm actually falling asleep right now from like this severe amount of heroin that you bought me because you encourage it. It's actually great. Thank you so much. Would you encourage that? Huh? It's an extreme, but still the point I'm making, you get it. So my biggest piece of advice is to 
Accept yourself as you are. It's really good to acknowledge what you bring to the table. It's understand how you present to the world. It's really, really great to acknowledge that stuff, but it's also really good in acknowledgement when you go through that process to see that you have bad things, okay? Like there are gonna be issues that you have. And some of those things are not gonna be things that you're gonna be able to change, right? Like for me, for instance, I know that I'm really bad in scenarios uh, where arguments are taking place and I feel like the other person's not listening and I just leave. I know that's not good, but I know I can't do anything about it because that's just who I am at this point, right? So it'd be better for me to find somebody that's going to be able to accommodate for that rather than finding somebody that needs to argue consistently and do it right there on a the spot. So it's really important to understand yourself. I agree. But the way she's looking at it is like literally acknowledging the bad traits, phys these physical bad traits that can change right now and not do anything about them because otherwise you will never be happy and to allow yourself the space you deserve. Because it sounds nice, but it's all bullshit. Because you deserve love and appreciation. It's, it's all it's all deserving, dude. So much entitlement from these people. As much as the next person. Yeah, but the next person just died single, like a virgin. So, okay. Thanks, I appreciate you. So, it's been a minute. Dating, ugh, it is what it is. Um, I just sitting on the couch for a minute before I go back on the computer for work and I just want to talk about something. Um, bigger women and worth and dating because it's been coming to my attention that I should not be asking or expecting for any effort because I'm a bigger woman. Um, I'm not thick. Um, I'm, I am fat. Okay. And so because I am not thick, I should accept anything a man gives me. If it's me, him hiding me in a room. So his friends don't know if that is, um, I'm only good enough to have sex, like all of these things. Right. Um, or you have a really pretty face, but I don't want to take you out. I'm not cool with that. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to be cool with it. And you know what? You shouldn't have to put up that either. Uh, it's fine if you want to find somebody that doesn't do those things, that stuff for you. But I think it's really important to acknowledge that when you're bigger or you have these defects, which it is a defect, you have to acknowledge that the the pool of people, the eligible candidates that you think that you deserve are going to be severely negated. You're going to be literally drastically reducing that pool by a large margin because most people are not attracted to people that are plus size or bigger. Because that's just what it is. Like being fat is a detriment physically and um, emotionally and like all across the board. It's just not good. So when you're fatter, you don't have to put up with that stuff. But just at least acknowledge that when you do put yourself out in these pools, the the, the pool of guys that you're going to get back are going to be very diminished. Like I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, you're reducing that pool by like 90%. You can't keep telling bigger women um, that we are not worthy of all the other things that everybody else is accepting of. You're, it just depends. Like you might be worthy of those things for the right person, but that right that right person is going to be few and far between in comparison with, to what it would have been if you were thinner, right? I know a lot of people like to think like, oh no, there's a special somebody out there, your soulmate, whatever, wishy washy bullshit. I don't believe in that. I don't think that's fucking. I think that's bullshit. I think most of the time people find the right person just from sheer convenience and they're willing to put up with that person's bullshit or whatever. And that's okay. That's usually how most relationships work in general. So when I hear people say like, I don't deserve whatever, I would love to know also what she means by like what uh, the other women are getting as a thing. Because like the amount of times I've been with somebody and they go, oh, this, you know, my, my, my best friend's boyfriend did this, my best friend's boyfriend did that, or this boyfriend did this and this and this, and you go, it's like, uh, so what does that have to do with me, dude? Like, there's always going to be a bare minimum, of course, but sometimes people take it overboard. They go, oh, but this person flew this person out. They take it on all these trips, and then you're just going, I'm broke. Like, what do you, like, what do you want from me? Like, when you say that shit, you do realize that's like a direct slap in my face. There's that, or maybe you're just not that type of person. You know, you know how terrible it is to say, if you're dating somebody and you know they don't like to go outside late at night and they go, we should go out, we should go out. And you're looking like, uh, I've told you multiple times that I don't go out past like 10 o'clock, right? So when you say, I want to go out past this time, you're directly like, that's really, really disrespectful, right? You do understand that because like you notice and you still ask that question, which is fucked up. You understand? So there's that. It just depends. Like, 
I would just love to know what she means. She could be she could be talking about bare minimum. It's fine if she wants to find guys that want all those things the opposite of that. But um, just acknowledge it's going to be harder. Because the body that I'm in makes it to where I'm not worthy to be go out on dates. Um, yes, to, to yes, one hundred percent. It's gonna be. It's not that it's not worthy. It's just like I don't know why are we using these words. It's so fucking weird, bro. It's it's you have the ability to do it, but it's gonna be harder, like drastically harder. You understand? It's like driving without arms. Like it's possible you can do it. But, like, you have to understand that it's going to be way difficulter. So, I'm not saying it's not there, but it's, like, it's going to be way harder. It'd be better if you just lost weight and then got into the pool with the rest of us. Or to be seen in public, or to have a normal sex life. What is a normal sex life? What does that mean? What does that mean exactly? Like, is he only sucking on your toes? Like, what, is that, what do you mean by normal sex life? Or to do anything other? Listen... I am a snack, so whoever... What? I mean... It's too easy. It's too easy for people to say that. It's too easy to say that, dude. For somebody to go, I'm a snack, I know my value, I'm too this, I'm that. Well, if you were, then somebody would have easily picked up that snack, right? No, it's not happening. So when you say and you go, I'm a snack, like, everybody thinks they're good. Everybody. No, there's not a single person on the planet that's going to sit there and go, I'm just really garbage, dude. I'm like a shit person. I smell like garbage consistently. Uh, my feet are literally doing like my my feet are shaped like boomerangs. It's it's not good for me, right? Not many people are gonna tell you that. Everybody thinks they're a good person. Everybody thinks they have redeeming qualities. So when somebody tells me this shit, I'm always thinking like, I know everybody thinks that. You're not special. Gets me is going to get me, but this is for my other plus size women. We don't have to accept the bare minimum. It's just a a fine. You don't have to accept it, but if you're not getting anything in general then what do you want like what if there's nothing there and you're only getting this and then you go you don't have to accept it you don't but if that's all you have we never have to accept the bare minimum there's going to be some i'm gonna i'm feeling there's a there's gonna be a few deserves in this somebody who's going to fuck with you so hard you're playing the lottery dude i, I how many times do i gotta hear the same idea dude you're playing the lottery so hard right now by saying, by saying like, oh, yeah, you know, just wait for that one guy, that one amazing guy. Do you really want to gamble on that? Like, you really want to just, like, gamble on the one guy that's going to step into your life, that's going to treat you like a princess, even, and not talk about your weight? Not going to say anything bad about you? Not going to, like, critique you in any way? Really? Is that even the guy you want to be with? That's just going to enable your bad behaviors? Like, it don't even sound like that's the right guy. It don't even sound like the good guy, bro. That sounds like a bad dude. There's going to be somebody who's going to fuck with you so hard. Keyword on that, somebody, one guy out of, what is it, half a billion? Sorry, half a half a eight billion? Who loves you so much that you being on their arm is a privilege, and they know that. Don't accept this bare minimum from these Negroes out here. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> you are worthy. Mm -hmm. You are loving. What about dessert? You are kind. You are gorgeous. What about me, though? I feel like we get women just get all these compliments, dude. And here I am dried up on compliments. Can I get a comment in the, in the comment section? And whatever weight that you are is between you and you. Uh, okay. Yeah. But that's going to negatively affect your dating. So it's fine if you want to say that though like hashtag gg you know if you're not going to find any men because you're fat and you keep having problems with that and you think it's just going to go away fine i guess bro but it's never going to go away because it's always going to be an issue all right guys we're going to end the video here so if you enjoyed today's video i'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously um, because it helps me grow in the algorithm so if you could do any of that stuff for me i'd appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in LED because LEDs are beautiful and they're fantastic and they're great and they're awesome. I'm using an LED light right here. If you can see that, I can even change the color. Look at this. Ooh, we're in Mexico and now we're in less Mexico and now we're less, less Mexico. And then, yeah, just white, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. LED down below if there's like an LED or a light bulb that you could put down there too. That would be great. A beautiful, amazing in terms of like an emoji. Uh, you're all amazing. You're beautiful. You're spectacular. I really care for you. I think that you're a beautiful, amazing, exhaustingly amazing person. I always get tired of looking at how beautiful you are because I get so upset that there could be somebody as beautiful as you that 
our creator could put you on this earth. It's actually offensive how perfect you are, how amazing, how great, how beautiful you are. Because I look at myself and I'm looking like, I am, I'm, I'm terrible, but you're like the most amazing, beautiful person ever. But anyway, um, socials will be listed down in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.